I am fascinated by our minds. I am also fascinated by woo-woo stuff like vision boards. And I know a lot of people don't believe in any of this stuff. And that's exactly why I made this video. So if you've never made a vision board because you think all the stuff is nonsense, this video is for you. If you made a vision board and it didn't work, this video is for you. And if you're someone who's, you know, you're already in the party and you know this stuff works and you love vision boards, you are gonna get so much out of this video because I am breaking down the science and you're not gonna need a PhD for this. You're not gonna be overwhelmed. I promise I'm gonna make it simple and I'm gonna make it so you can understand it. We're talking the reticular activating system of your brain. We're talking the subconscious and we are talking about how visualization tools and kind of tapping into these things and hacking them can help you get what you want in life. You can achieve your goals, your dreams, your desires and live your best life. You just gotta basically believe you deserve to live your best life, but we're gonna get into that in this video. So let's just do it. The RAS of the brain, again, we're gonna call it that because to say reticular activating system constantly is going to just be too much for me. So the RAS of the brain is responsible for for your wakefulness, it's responsible for your alertness, as well as filtering sensory information. What you need to think of it as is you need to think of it as the bouncer of your brain. So if your brain is a nightclub and VIP baby all the way, that's all you want in it. The reticular activating system acts as the bouncer of the club. And it says, we only want important stuff here, we only want critical stuff here, and we only want things that we're gonna pay attention to and we actually need. So it acts as that bouncer and it doesn't let the other stuff in. It's kind of like why you can be in the middle of Times Square and you can hear your name amongst the traffic, the crowd, people yelling, people fighting, people performing, and someone can be over there down the street and they can yell out, Donna! And you turn around and you're like, yeah, that's me, what's up? And you can hear your name. That that's the reticular activating system, the RAS at work. Also, I said it a lot of times in a row without messing up. Let's give me a high five. A lot of very smart people have done a lot of studies on why the RAS is so critical and crucial in attention as well as filtering information. And if you want all the information on that, it's in my newsletter and you can read all those articles. But for now, let's stick to what we're here for, which is vision boards. Okay, so the RAS we know filters information. It also makes it so that all the sensory information and all that stimuli that's coming at you nonstop doesn't basically overwhelm you so you can actually get stuff done because if you didn't have the RAS you wouldn't be able to filter that stuff out and you would like never be able to accomplish anything so noisy rooms this is why you can hear the conversation with your friend Times Square it's why you can hear your voice and it kind of acts as like the manager of the brain that's like we're doing this right now we're doing that right now let's focus on this and it prioritizes and it helps you remember what is relevant so Donna how does the subconscious and conscious mind play into all of this honestly I am so so glad you asked. The subconscious mind plays a huge part in your habits and your patterns. For instance, let's say you have a habit of biting your nails when you get nervous. It's a subconscious response to stress and anxiety. So when you're in a stressful or an anxious situation, you may go to bite your nails. You're not consciously saying, oh, I'm gonna go bite my nails right now because I'm nervous. You just do it because it's a habit and pattern that you've done over a long time. Also your emotional responses. Say you had an experience back in the day speaking in public or giving a presentation in front of class and it made you really nervous or you had a bad emotional response to it. Say people made fun of you or you didn't do well or you messed up. You're probably constantly gonna have that negative experience unless you break it. So you may feel anxious every time you have to speak in public because of that one instance that is still in the subconscious mind. Intuition, gut feelings, also the subconscious mind playing some part in it. Think of it as the momager, the Kris Jenner of your brain. Your subconscious mind is also responsible for your goal pursuit. Again, this is why this all relates to vision boards. And finally, your self-image and your self-esteem. So if you don't think you're good enough and you don't think you're deserving enough, your subconscious mind is never gonna let you achieve the things that you want and it's gonna hold you back from pursuing your goals or taking risk. And that's where all this comes in. But let's put it all together. Vision boards basically bridge the gap between the subconscious and the conscious mind. So all that stuff that's going on in the background versus all that stuff that's going on on stage. And basically, your subconscious mind, from the repetition of putting down your goals and staring at them every day on your vision board and constantly having this visual reminder, takes note of your goals, the things you want, your beliefs, and your desires, and in turn influences our buddy, the RAS, into prioritizing and saying, this is important. The vision boards and the images and words we put on them are a direct influence 
over the RAS. And they're telling the RAS every day or every time we look at this visual representation of what we want, our goals and our dreams, AKA our vision board, it's telling the RAS this is important, making us more likely to notice these things, pay attention and see this information in the external world and take advantage of this stuff when it pops up. Because we're like, oh, that's important. That person's talking about how you can get a yacht. Pay attention, Donna, so you can get the yacht. I actually want a Rolex, but you know what? I'll, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna not take a yacht. Actually, I don't want a yacht. I just want to go on it. I don't want to be responsible for it. It's kind of like when you buy a new car and then you start noticing the same car on the road because like you told the RAS, this is important. We spent a lot of money on this new car and say you get like, I don't know, a white BMW, you're gonna start seeing white BMWs everywhere. You're gonna be like, man, I thought I was the only one who had a white BMW. It turns out everybody else does. No, it turns out your RAS knows that this is important. So it's paying attention to it because it sees it every day when you get into it and you drive off. Vision boards are basically a collection of images, ideas, words, and symbols that represent your goals, right? And when you create the vision board, you are basically selecting specific visuals that resonate with the objectives and the things that you want to call in. And then you have repeated exposure, which is a huge component in influencing the RAS. So if you put the vision board in a place where you're gonna see it every day, maybe by your closet, by your bed, on your refrigerator, on your office wall, you're constantly going to be giving the RAS that visual stimuli that these things are important and it knows to hone in on that stuff. And by focusing on your vision board and looking at it every day, you are telling your subconscious and your conscious mind to be friends and aligning them with your goals and your desires. So it tells the RAS that these things are super important, which leads to increased awareness. So as your RAS starts to recognize that the content of the vision boards is super important and that we should be paying attention for this, it actively seeks this information out in the real world. It looks for these opportunities that are related to your goals in the external world, in your day to day, at work, in conversations, on TV, in stuff you're looking at on the internet. And it kind of becomes like your own personal little algorithm that's tailored for you. And it filters out anything that's not important. And it lets the information through for the opportunities that ultimately align with your vision, AKA your vision board. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to this channel because there's going to be another video in this series where I teach you how to make a vision board and I actually share my vision boards and the stuff that's worked for me and the stuff that hasn't. And all the stuff that's come in and that I've been able to accomplish over the years because of this vision boarding and these brainstorms that I do. And if you ever want to sign up for my workshop, all the information is below in the description box. So with the RAS filtering the information and knowing what's important and the subconscious mind getting in on the game too, you basically have improved decision making and that leads to you making better decisions which gets you further to your goals, your dreams, your desires, and the things that you want. So yeah, what you want can become a reality. But again, you gotta work for it and you gotta keep it going. You can't just make this thing and put it in a closet and forget about it. You gotta put it someplace where you see it every day and look at it and say, hmm, do I still want this? Do I still wanna do this? Is this still something that is even important to me? Again, we're a constant work in progress. We're constantly changing. And if you're not growing, you're dead. So. I mean, even outside agrees with me. So you got to constantly reevaluate. You constantly have to pivot. You constantly have to look at things and you constantly have to be reevaluating and looking at your goals. And honestly, being the CEO and director of your own life, I think I've kind of shown you today how you can at least get a start on that. So in the next video in this series, we're going to work on vision boards. I'm going to tell you how to make one. I'm going to tell you how to break it down and I'm going to share some of mine with you. So if you haven't already, follow, like, and subscribe to this channel and sound off in the comments below. Let me know what you thought about this and stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you on the other side. Bye guys.